Shalom, shalom. ¿Cómo están? How's everybody doing? Uh, welcome to Garden of Life. Um, well, I'm so glad that uh, I am going to be guiding you through the process of making this beautiful artwork for your family, for you and your family. But I'm more excited that you are going to be in charge. I'm going to give you ideas, suggestions, and techniques on how you can work with your kids and the whole family integrate together. And that's the most exciting thing about this, that the whole family participate on the making of each tour portion. That is gonna visually um, enter to the mind of the child and the adult too, and it stay in their hearts. So let's embark in this journey together. I told you now these videos are gonna be very informal. You're gonna see my child participating or in the back sometimes but um, we are gonna make it very very normal okay not nothing fancy we're gonna talk about the tour portion and this is the first tour portion that we are going to make and it looks very difficult it looks like it has a lot of stuff in it but it's very simple okay so because children they don't have much um, attention span for too long, 45 minutes, it's okay. Uh, when it's family time together, uh, it can be more than 45 minutes, it can be less than 45 minutes, but the most important thing is that they, they understand what they're doing. Actually, they put in the Torah into art, into visual Torah for them. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna stop the video and then I am going to switch the camera and give you all the techniques that you need and all the ideas that you need. Maybe, obviously, you can put your own ideas into the painting and make it your own, okay? I hope you enjoy this journey. And, um, well, I cannot wait to see your pictures. Okay, shalom. Okay, mom, as I told you, um, this video is gonna be very informal. Um, this is the version of the, this is the painting that we are going to be painting. Uh, well, you are going to be painting with your kids. I am going to show you the childlike version. Uh, where is it? I just had it here. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Under the box. Let me open it so many times. Ready. Okay, so this is the childlike version. My daughter, uh, put the stickers in there of her favorite animals. See, I am going to help you with the technique of the, of the background. That is the one is the most important. And uh, from there you can take cover with your kids. So we're gonna go for the backgrounds, the numbers and the treble cleft that you can see here on the top see uh, the rest is very easy and you can make it your own personalized with the own animals that you have on your box okay so let's do this and hands on okay for this section I already prepared my canvas I will definitely recommend you to present the canvas to your kids um, already divided like I divided into six boxes here the six section um, the six sections are for the sixth day of creation and um, the word Shabbat here on the seventh day um, now I show you the version I like to recreate this version from right to left just as the Hebrew is written from right to left um, I'm going to do everything the same, but I'm going to begin on this side, okay? So, I hope you enjoy, and uh, let's do this. For this box right here, for Leather Be Light, I am going to use this blue color. It's dark blue. Well, it's not dark blue, really. It's like blue. And a tiny 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 tip of black 
uh, it's just to give the the sense of darkness okay so I'm gonna mix the color and I am going to start on the right side so we begin uh, it will be like this like a teal color with a little bit of black in there mixing the color see so this is the part when it will be let there be light and there was light you go don't worry if you miss the line just go side to side like this okay look and you can explain to them that the world was void was filled with void and chaos and it was dark and then God spoke, let there be light, and there was light. So here it is, very easy. Trying to do it in one direction is going to be much easier for you if you do it in one direction. See? Uh, and it looked even. See? Now we can see here in darkness. And then we'll move on to the second box. All right? For that, we are going to need... Um, this light blue light blue and the blue that we used from the beginning now with the same brush which is um, 5-8 I don't know if you can see it here you have it in your 5-8 I am going to do the second day okay with the light color we are going to make the blue sky okay we do this. We're going in the same direction. Okay, so we continue with the sky. Something very simple. Remember, you make it childlike, okay? While you paint, um, tell them that God separated, just as the script, just what the scripture says. God separated the waters from the water and tell them something cool about about um, the sky and the water that the sky is made of water actually in Hebrew the word um, heavens or sky is shamayin see shamayin mayin is water so I separate the waters from the water I'm using a little bit of dark here it's my daughter playing in the pool while I paint here, see? Separate the waters from the water, make sure you make it darker here. And in a little bit, we are going to uh, put some cool waves and something that they can see. Separate the waters from the water. And you can add your thoughts to it, your opinion to it, what does that mean? Um, how God is speaking through humanity, through his creation, see? So for the waves, I am going to use these um, eight, brush number eight, okay? Brush number eight. Um, with a little bit of white. I'm going to wet it a little bit, soften. A little bit of white and we're gonna make some cool strokes here, like this, see, like waves, ready? And, and then make it like a, like a waves here. And then tell, ask them how they imagine that that happened, see? God created, separated the waters from the water. Something so cool that the sky it's actually water. See? Look at the waves here. Okay? So we make separation. You can put a little bit of white in the middle. A little bit more. So you can see the, the separation. Not much. Just, just a little bit. See? Make the sky a little lighter. And there you go. You have your box right here. Okay? Your box right here with God separated the waters from the water. See, uh, it doesn't take too long. We can um, paint it here on the side like this. 
Even the more strokes here, you can see the weight. All right, now we're going to the third day of creation and we are going to use the same blue for the sky. Let's use the blue right now. We're gonna use, hi baby, how are you? Okay, so, you, Mama. you can paint. Oh my goodness, let's paint together. Let me get, let me get your paper, okay? Okay, so this is the sky. You're gonna make this sky here. And um, I will recommend you to use dark blue with the same pen, with the same brush, um, with the same brush that is 5.8. And here you put a little bit darker. You can see. Mommy, excuse me. I haven't, I haven't got a gel so well. Boy, mi amor, boy, boy. Get gel so well. Boy, mi amor. Hold on. So you're gonna put a little bit of um, dark here so you can see the ocean because on the third day god commanded the sea its limits actually see um you can actually see it here because we are going to use dry land you can use dark brown or the hi that's so beautiful samira que lindo or a um dark brown or light brown i have these two okay i have this one and i have this one very little amount i am going to use the same brush okay hi sammy que lindo tell me about your painting tell me about it Look. what is it what is it or who is it it's mama Oh, that's so pretty. Mama wears this face. Uh huh. So I'm just going to. You can do strokes of of the paint like this, or you just can do like this. It's easier if you do if you paint it straight in one direction. Yeah. I mix a little bit of the both colors. Um. And then you can do some strokes just to give her the texture of, of the land, sand, stuff like that. Okay, so third day is done. Okay, third day is done. Great. So we're moving forward to the fourth day. Ooh, let's see. We're moving forward to the fourth day and then we'll go. Now for the fourth day of creation, we are going to use some gray and dark blue. I'm gonna mix it out a little bit, just a little bit. Um, and it's gonna be, this box is gonna be divided into two. Now, this is the box that we are going to use. Um, actually, we're gonna to begin to use um, our stickers, the 3D objects, okay? So you have the sun, the moon, and the star. So I'm gonna mix some um great on this on this area on this side see grayish dark mix it a little bit um here we're gonna place our stars the moon and the stars on the half of this box actually and it doesn't have to be even or perfect let's let the light mix with the dark in here this one when the elements you can actually, this is a great opportunity to introduce to some astronomy to your kids, talk about the star, the distance of the sun from the earth, you know, the size of the sun, the moon, see? And also that God placed these elements for us to give us the time and the seasons okay for this part here i'm gonna use some yellow um these colors are very thick and i love it they're very like like i, I love the texture it's so you don't you, you don't have to use much it's a little bit look 
and then you can add some yellow here on the side okay remember you're gonna place the Sun on this side the moon um, it's a suggestion if you're gonna do full moon that's great wonderful you if you're gonna do a uh, crescent moon I will recommend you to um, to do the crescent moon like from here you, you can feel this a little bit of light here you can put like the light is penetrating the darkness see um, there you go so here you're going to put your 3d Sun the stars and the moon okay now we're moving forward to the fifth day of creation and we are going to make the same picture but the water is just going to be just water okay because the lord commanded the water to produce the water animals yes it's very slimy i know oh my goodness okay so we have to go inside baby we have to take that from the inside okay so we're going to use the same blue all right right here same blue and the light blue all right here we create the background for you to place your sea animal stickers or if you have skills you can actually paint your own fishes but uh, let the children place the sticker if you have small children three four years old um, help them a lot with the background um, let them play the sticker place the sticker on the paper and you know let them visually see the creation so we're moving on to the fifth day we are going to do basically the same thing on, in blue so we're going to use this dark blue and well it's not dark it's actually blue it's this beautiful blue it's beautiful I'm using the same brush okay um, in the same direction okay here you go the background is the most important at this point. Okay. Most important. There you go. My eyes so hot. Oh, yes, mi amor. We're going to go inside, okay? We're going inside. Let's put the suka inside. Here, don't worry about this part, okay? At the end, we'll take, we'll take care of that. We put a little bit of light color. We mix it a little bit with light color. I think somebody's here. I think, it's Baba? You think so? I don't know, probably. Maybe. Okay. There you go. Okay. Mommy, and with Mommy, white, we're gonna put some, we're gonna make some cool waves inside. No, Sammy, we don't know, baby. See? Just put, like, currents <laughs> inside. <laughs> okay? Because we're not we're not going to see it. You're not going to be able to see it once you place the, the stickers. But just, you know, let it dry. There you go. See? Way we can make a little bit of separation here. Look how pretty that looks. See? And this is very relaxing for you moms parents and it can make it a great date family date date with the family and the unity that it brings so much unity within the family when you guys do things together uh, there you go I'll be back okay so quickly we're moving on to the sixth day and we are going to make this guy just like this guy we're gonna do we're gonna go in this direction moving into our box number six see it's it's not really that long um and with the 3d sticker it's gonna be faster but it's a great opportunity to speak with your family about the creation as your kids how will they imagine that god did it like in, at once in in, in a minute on a week how long did they think it took them so basically it's the same thing as the um, second as the third day and we're gonna put 
Okay, we're gonna put some dry land here and then we are gonna do some strokes with green, okay? As the grass. So let's move on real quick. I put my dry my land a little darker here. Um you can put heels if you want. Actually, we're not gonna see this part of the painting. We're just gonna see background uh, because all the 3D um, objects are gonna be around, but you'll be able to see something. Okay, um, do the same thing. Add some blue here on one side, just symbolizing that the ocean is here or something like that. Let's see, you can do this. Okay, mm, just just a thought if you want to. Uh, you can do it and ta-da there you go you have all your backgrounds there you go you have all your background and your sky now when I show you the final paint here let me see it's still going yes uh, remember you can Put the um, animals, the stickers, animals. Since this is this dry already, this dry already, this one dried. I'm just gonna put the numbers, okay? And we do the travel cleft, and there you go. You have your seven day of creation. This says Shabbat, Ching, Sh Bet, B, T, Shabbat. You can write it in English if you want, and Breshit. All right. Um, so let's do this. So we are going to have some green here, straw green, straw like this. Just put some green around here. Okay, you can do this. It's better if you're doing a stroke and leave some patches in, in brown. Okay, so you can see the difference. You make you can have your kids do this. It's fine. Um, there you go. See, you can see some dry land, and then you can use some light green. This is my favorite green, it's so beautiful. This color is like an apple, green apple, it's so pretty. Um, you can do some strokes here. These paints are gonna last you a lot, the texture is just amazing. I love it. See. Let them mix it up. You can put some patches around of green. All right, and then you can put your 3D animals and people. They're already cut.
is done you can put any color uh, you can use any color to paint the work brush sheet and Shabbat in my case I am going to put uh, red and blue the word in brush sheet and the number seven I am going to paint it in orange just to make the contrast between these two brush sheet in green because they have to do with creation Shabbat in blue because it's, it has the celestial colors and seven in orange because they have to do with um, I see it like with the fire you know of Shabbat I draw two little candles here um, I'll show you the ending work Shalom